Gia Garza has the type of smile that lights up a room. It certainly lit up Taryn Hope's room at the Gonzalez School for Young Children. And it's a big reason the two became so close while Gia was in Taryn's class. So close that Taryn knew something was wrong one day towards the end of school. She was making a crown and she was taking stickers off and putting them on her crown and her hand was shaking as she was taking her stickers off. And so I kind of waited. We left that classroom and gone to our room to get our backpacks and I had noticed that when she put her jacket on, she couldn't get her jacket on. Her arm was just shaking quite a bit. So I think kind of something went off in my gut to call mom. I received a call from Miss Hope uh, Tuesday, February 12th, um, right after pickup. Uh, she called and she let me know her concerns and I immediately called Gia's pediatrician. Um, they told me how fast can you get here. What happened next was life changing. Gia's family found out her shaking arm was caused by a tumor in her brain. For me, it just happened so fast. Um, I couldn't really tell you what it was like because it was kind of a blur. Never did we even imagine her having a tumor. That would never cross my mind. Um, she was a normal kid until we found out that she had the tumor. I was just kind of blown away like, what? Like, no, this isn't, this isn't what it is, you know? It's not supposed to be happening. But it did happen. So did the surgery. And more than a month in a hospital, which included a grueling recovery. Gia had to relearn things most of us take for granted. Are you doing that all by yourself? Huh? Recovery has been a tough road, but things are getting better. Yes, girl. <laughs> and there have been a lot of victories along the way. She's back in school now, and she was even able to attend her preschool graduation. Woo! Go Gia! Gia's family is thankful for those victories, and they're thankful for the teacher that cared enough to notice when something wasn't quite right. I feel like she truly cares for her kids in her class. Um, Gia was with her for two years and she made Gia so comfortable and I felt like she loved Gia like she would love her own children. There's no words that I can tell you. Um, she was a blessing. So happy so happy and I mean I just I'm glad that I had that relationship with parents so that I could keep in contact with her and knowing that that she's okay today and that she's in school and doing well.